Okay, pilots, I've cut out a few decals here. And we're going to see what we can do. But first thing I've done was I brought up some videos on the Blue Angel. And the real one, the, the lettering looks small, smaller as far as a, a, as thick of a letter, but it was a, actually a bigger, it covered a whole wing. So I looked at a couple videos on the E-flat Thunderbird, and I said, I really didn't want to get into them flaps and, and ailerons. And what theirs was set up was, is they had theirs on up here, up on top of the wing, or closer to the edge, top edge, front edge of the wing. And it stayed out of the flaps and aileron. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So what I've done on the FMS 70 millimeter, you'll see your mountain screws. See, one hole here, one hole there, all right? So what I done on my decal was, is I kind of put a dot where them two holes was gonna be. They were right here at the corner, right at the very corner. And then there's a dot up here. And that's gonna be where my screw holes are, okay? And that brings it out, because I had to get as close this way as I could. So I literally had to cut the Y off. The Y is gonna go on the part of the wing that's already hooked up to the fuselage. And that is enough room because I had to have enough down here to put my yellow stripe. See, so that's where I've worked it out to be. So I've got to do a little untaping here, and I'm gonna get my push rods off. I just wanted to put a little tape over them joints there. I don't know pilots. I don't know if I'll go back and clear it again after I get all the decals off or not. I just don't know. Yeah, yeah, I need a, I need that little tool. That's sure what we'll do. that screwdriver right there at the right spot. And pop it off. And I'm snapping that on my horn. Just got to get it at that right spot. Oh, come on. It was coming. And it stopped. So, I'll have to get my Phillips heads out maybe next time. Or not Phillips heads, but middle nose blurs. So that's my flaps rod. So the wing, make sure. Yep, I was in the third hole. No, I don't Gotta remember that. Okay, there's our servo arms. So we got to figure out where they're gonna be.
Okay, the flaps. I'm looking good on the flaps. Looking good on the flaps. The ailerons. I'm right here in between the S here on the ailerons. So I'm not going to cut nothing right now. I'm going to wait. Go ahead and stick it down and see what that looks like. Okay, pops, here we go. Let's not get all nervous now. All I'm doing right here is just kind of pushing that letter good up on the, to the back end. Because the, the decals got kind of all bent up in shipping, you know, so you kind of you know, make sure they stick to that back end. When we get up here to these two dots, we gotta be careful there. If we can get that thing going. Get all them decals going. So I'm gonna stick it just down a little bit and then go back, fold the corner back, stick it there and then pull all this off. But I kinda like being able to move it a little bit. But the first place I'm gonna go is right here. Let's see, let me do one thing. I should have done that before I peeled it off, that's for sure. I should have cut a slip for my little on here. Don't panic. Don't panic. Okay. Get over here. Give me a break. Let me see something here. I hope that wax paper don't peel, peel my paint off. <laughs> right there on the edge of that screw hole. And right there in dead center of that one. trying to do here is just press down with the letter. Just the letter.
Okay, no cussing yet. <laughs> we ain't peeled this wax paper off yet, though. Panel lines, panel lines. Make sure you get your panel lines pushed in good on, on stick-ons. Now, decals that are water-based, usually when they dry, they kind of shrink down into them panel lines. But when you when you got dealing with a sticker, you got to do it right then, right when it's nice and fresh, if you want them panel lines to show. And I suggest you go ahead and push them down even if you don't really want them to show because if, if air gets up underneath a, a decal, a stick-on decal, it will dry the adhesive out and the sticker will split right across there after some age. I can tell you right now. Split right across it. Man, that ass went right around that servo arm. Look at that. I'll make sure my dots here is staying down. Now my little, my, my S here is bending over a little bit, but I'm not going to cut that. I'm just going to let that sit right down into that servo pocket. I didn't want to butcher anything if I didn't have to. But my wax paper seems to be doing fine on my paint. Let me get that down a little bit. Let me get this corner right here started. Looking good. I'm looking over at my missile rail. I believe my missile rail just a little bit light. We're gonna look at it here in a second. Oh my goodness, Pots, I want you to look at there. I hadn't got but a half of one of my ordnance slots covered. I got a half of one covered right here. This one, this one, and this one is completely clear. So if I wanted to, I could paint my ordinance. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, that's a servo arm. I thought my paint was peeling up right there. Oh, goodness, my heart stopped. My heart stopped, yep. Y'all heard it. I'm sure you did. All right, Emily, I got so many of these panel lines. I'm just wanting to try to get to see what it looks like here. Bunch of panel lines. I got a lip right here. Let me see if I can stretch that detail out and get it on there without cutting it. Sometimes when you got a straight angle to a bend or something, your decal don't want to go down. But the, these here seem good and flexible decals. So you might could just take your finger now and get, get your finger in there and kind of press it down real good. Finish your panel lines out. Now we ain't worried too much about the servo lead channel. Just the panel lines. Come on my screen. We got one more letter to go. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till I get the wing mounted before I put the Y on it. We're looking pretty good here. Looking pretty good here. We'll, we'll wait till that last centimeter then we don't go okay. <laughs> All right, now we got a hard plastic part here, so we know it's gonna Sticking good to that. But flexible parts, pilots. Flexible foam. Servo leads. All that stuff that can move around just, just holds a decal up off of it and just causes air to get up underneath it. And of course, the, the Y. You can see I made a red dot where the screw hole is going to be. The other red dots down here on the corner where it's supposed to be, so the Y is going to be here. It ain't looking too bad, is it, Pops? 
not too shabby. Yes, Navy. And look here, I got plenty of room, plenty of room to make my striper. And that's gonna be one of these. Goodness gracious, gonna be one of them big stripes there. So. Get the next one out. I'm gonna lay it here. Put them push rods in later. Let me get that here. Oh, I don't look at the color here. Yep, just a little bit light. Just a little bit. You can tell the difference. Just a little bit. I'll be able to live with that. Get a wire. Keep up with a wire. Okay, U.S. Navy. Oh. Way I set it up was I. First thing I got to do is I got to cut this real close to this U. Real close. Just maybe a. Less, uh, maybe a sixteenth of an inch. Try to get close to that when you want to measure an edge. <coughs> Got the fuselage here. Taking a pair of scissors. Come up here. I'm looking for my screw holes. I want my screw holes to be the same distance from these letters, okay? My, my lower mount here, the letter is sitting a quarter of an inch above that screw hole. So I want my U to set a quarter of an inch above the center of that screw hole. I'm going to lay it up here. Again, I'm going to be putting it right on the edge of that screw. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to find that hole and I'm going to cut a slit down where I think the center of that hole is. And then I bend my cover, not cutting in a little letter, hopefully. I bend it back, I look to see if I'm close. Okay, I get a little, a little bit further. Just cutting it to where I see that screw hole. Right dead center, right there. Okay, now I'll come down here. And I'll make another cut little small cut right there because that's, that's not going to really be any distance. It's going to be right there at the corner. So I'm just making a small little, little cut right there. Now, the thing I've got to do here because this U is so big, okay, it's not like that Y was narrow and then just perfectly fit up there. I'm going to have to do a little work here right here. So what I've got to do is I'm going to cut my U out. Okay, I, I can't afford a producer, okay? I'm sorry. No editing, you see what you see. All right, now look right up here. Now, I'm gonna be right in line with that U as to where my dot's gonna be. So before I cut it, I'll completely right there. I'm gonna make me a dot. Where's that? 
pair of scissors will cut that dot completely right in half so I can have a little bit on one side and a little bit on the other. And right there is where my other screw hole is going to be. So I simply take this and I just kind of cut that off right where my screw hole is going to be. And then I finish my cut here trying to cut that dot right in half. And that's what I've done. So I know right now that I need to put that one right dead center of that hole. And this one's going to be right lined up with that one. Uh-oh, I'm a little bit off. Why was I off? I was off there. So I'm going to have to make some adjustments. All I really got to do is come down a little bit more. But I've got to make sure, i got to measure that. I've got to come down there. And that one's going to be clear, big letters. And that one, that end's going to just barely, I mean, it's going to be barely right into that end. But I'm going to have to put my dots in a different place at the bottom here. And measure on the U, make sure I've got enough room. I might have to move it out this way. And just remember how far I moved it away from this dot up here. I'm putting a little small dot there, just a little small. Now let me look up here real quick again. About an eighth of an inch on that up first top hole. So that one's going to be there. Yeah. Let's see what that's going to do. I can get. I can get. Ooh, if I could go just a little bit lower. That's going to be it. I'm kind of just eyeballing it here, just pause. Just eyeballing this, how far away that is from that hole. And I'm going to put me another dot right here. I'm going to go up here and check this again. Going down an eighth of an inch off and holding down on my dot and laying that U back in my spot. Oh, yeah, right there. That's what I'm going to have to do right there. Okay, let me get these control rods off. All right, if you're wondering, I'm putting that screwdriver right here. Okay. But it's kind of right in between where that ball is. I'm, I'm aiming right dead center of the, the ball. And then I'm taking and I'm twisting up with the screwdriver, pushing the bottom up and then getting the screwdriver in it and, complete, and then start bringing the screwdriver this way and it pops it off. See, that's what I'm doing. But you just got to hold it in that perfect little angle there and get the little horn right and everything. So this one, you have to remember this now. So this is the L rod. And it was in the third hole. That one was a short one. Old Joe Hush out there, I fed you earlier. Okay. It's going to be on this side in the third hole. Snap it back up. And then this one went in the second hole. Let's see what side of the ball is on. You want to try to make sure you, you push rise not in, in, a, in a stressed situation. Make sure that was in that second. Yes, it's in the second. And they snap back on pretty good. Pops pretty good. You just kind of give her a squeeze there. There's that wing. 
I was making sure I got them in the right holes before I snapped them off there. Okay. Now, I've got to lay this up here and make sure I've got a hole cut out for my servo, an eighth of an inch at the top, right there at the center of that mark. And I think this one up here we're just completely way off. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, it's all the way far to the V. Cut too much of that backing off. That's making sure that letter is going in the right place. And let me make sure I got this clear. I'm going to go a little bit more so it won't cause no troubles. No trouble. Could be trouble. Could be trouble. Okay, here we go. Let me mash down the letter first. Just right on the letter. Just right on the letter. And the dot. And the dot. Why? eyeballing this other one too. Kind of eyeballing the other one. Bringing that angle down just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Just on my letter. My dot. Get my dot there. Come on now. Don't don't take my dot away from me. Right, I'm kind of eyeballing my V, the top of my V to the top of this wing tip. I'm looking at my other one. At the top of that S to the top of the wing tip is looking close right there at that bend now actually pilots if you look at a blue angel if you really look at it close you won't see this right here in it you won't see that right there in it. this evidently is an extra slat or something on the super hornet see this is actually a super hornet two-seater see i told you it's going to be close on that on that on that V. I might have to do a little bit of, a little bit, keep that servo arm from any obstacles. You know, we can't have no obstacles in front of our servo arm. Just right on the letter. get these dots off here because I'm afraid this one right here is pretty close to the edge yep I'm 
get that down there a little bit. Let's just see. Yes, I got the maneuver around my servo horn there. Servo horn. So I'm gonna try to come back around this way. Come down in this angle. Just a second. Off my dot. Leave my dot alone. Leave my decimal point alone. <laughs> okay. Pilots, I know that they some, they some guys out there, man, that can really do a job on these airplanes. I mean, we've seen a couple of them AL-37s has come out here, Jeff Custom and Scotty. Man, y'all have done some great jobs. And just plain crazy. Done drone mans. I mean, these they, they are just unbelievable. It's just the pilots, when I do something like that, like this, to these planes, I don't really take the time that you should do. You know, I could have took some sandpaper and went over some more edges and took some more mold markings down a little bit better. But I, I, I do this painting stuff for a living and, and I... <laughs> It's just like some pilots ask me, why don't you get any surface stuff? Well, I got one old Jeep there, and I'm a son gun. I played with it about two hours as far as time, and I, if I ain't had to take the transmission apart of it. And, and I ain't doing no transmission work in, in my house. <laughs> I mess with these cars enough at work. I don't feel like doing nothing to them when I get home. He's about five paddle lines goes right across the top there. Trying not to cut the thing, but just push it down in there a little bit. Put a little bit of pressure on it. There's our S Navy. <laughs> well, again, I have to put the U on after I get the wing on it. And again, we're just a little bit light. Just a little bit. I don't know if it'll matter. It'll go by surprise. It'll go by surprise. Y'all quit playing a little girl. You fell off watching me. What are you doing over there? What are you trying to do to me? You trying to get to eat as uh, the, the, the pita after me? Huh? What's the matter with you, Zeus? Look at once you jump right back up there. You stupid dog. <laughs> Let's see. Sure here. Let me check something. Let me check, check. Nope. Couldn't be possible. Suck it all. Suck it all. Yep, that's my flat. Third hole. Third hole. Okay, Paul, that's all I'm gonna do tonight. That's all I'm gonna do tonight. But I'll, I'll video mainly that that uh, fuselage when I get that centerpiece on that fuselage. That's not gonna be fun, Paul. There it is right there. And then the two little ones, I'm gonna see if I can just get that on the canopy. But if you'll notice, cut right here, see, 
You'll note that cut right there. You flipped over here. That's gonna have to be, oh, that's on the camera. Uh, that's gonna have to pretty much be right here at this bend in the canopy. Okay. So when I cut that decaler out real close and nice, I'll lay it up there, you know, make sure I get it right. Make my cut for where the canopy can open and close. And then get those short yellow ones striped there for, you know, it comes to a point there, they're gonna have to come up alongside the fuselage here. So I've got to really check those and cut close and measure tw uh, twice and cut once and then lay it down once. So until then pilots,